my name is Gum Gum. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this was hell. <laughs> First official roll of the campaign, boys. Roll me an Arcana check, buddy Oh my fucking god! Nat 20 plus 3. <laughs> no. 23 first fucking roll of this campaign. Oh, oh no dude. Way. It's going to be a fucking good one. My eyes are going to roll back into my head. He's having a seizure. <laughs> Guts goes over and like cups the back of his head ready for him to fall. You're doing it all wrong. Kind of smack in his doing? face a little bit. If somebody's having a seizure, you want to put a piece of bark in their mouth. What the fuck? So they don't swallow their tongue. Oh, interesting here. tenacity trick there, my friend. Are you gonna put the bark in his mouth? No, it's not my own. Bark. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Somebody catch me bark from a nearby tree. How dare you guys? That's disgusting. You said it. But don't you feel almost like you're a part of those trees as well? How dare you? Are you kind of beckoning them closer as they? Yeah, I'm, get I'm beckoning them, and I'm definitely showing off these big anime tits. Drop the gear. Fuck off. Can I like grab a javelin out of my Oh, no, fella. Calm down. <laughs> Let's do it. Just take a deep breath, buddy. We'll figure this out. <laughs> Four minus one. You don't want this on your cautious. And I fucking will. Really Does he even need to roll? Yeah, guy's dead. Fuck you. Releases out of your hands at nearly mock speed. And with not even a bit of drop just splinters through his chest and out the other side. It's a big blade and as I'm sprinting and I'm gaining momentum, I'm hitting rocks every once in a while and there's sparks flying from my greatsword. And as I come up and I and like right up next to him and I up slash, it cuts him right in half, right up the middle. This is a disgusting display of violence. Today we're doing a very special Halloween stream. We're gonna go one by one and reveal our costumes. <laughs> I'm the two-time back-to-back 1993-94 blockbuster <laughs> video game champion. What up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, how do you? Who's a cow? Mister. I don't have any. No wonder you were saying you were gonna be hot as fuck, dude. <laughs> My headset's on under this bitch, too. Oh, hey! Oh! <laughs> He's a straight up dragonborn, dude. What's <laughs> happening? Oh, dude. Oh! Oh, oh god. god! This man. No, it's really it's Dark Bryce! Uh, uh, it's what Dark Bryce! Dark Bryce! <laughs> Are you guys ready? He's rectangular. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ready. Boys. Let's go, daddy! Tonight you call me mommy. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I did not expect that, dude. And I'll flick my collar out, prepare myself, and I'll strut to the front of the the party here and lead us through. Not so fast. Call me a deception check. <laughs> Twelve. Something's up. Tell us why you're really here. I'm gonna run <laughs> away. <laughs> you fucking idiot. I cannot sustain damage. I'm gonna do it the run that like Captain Jack Sparrow does too. Like, <laughs> Did you say you're leaving us, Tweet Boy? In the morning, I will leave for Plum Water. I don't agree with this stuff. Why do you want to go with him? You just met him. It is part of my duty as an inventor. But you could help us with your inventions, mate. Look what you've done for us already. Oh, could you? What am I supposed to do without you and your knowledge? Fucking bastard. Son of a bitch is fucking leaving. I've only just met you guys as well. And yet you will remain in my heart forever. And that is why I will do anything in my power once this job is finished to find you again. Don't leave us, Sap. We Look, you know, Sap. The only family I've ever had. Stay safe, my friend. And until we you meet again. Well. I hope this time it doesn't take us dying to meet once more. You better not fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> Is it normal to, like, you know, kill a bunch of people and then just, like, their friends forgive you and then ask them to, like, 
bury the people you killed? Absolutely not, mate. These people are out of their fucking minds. Chase is meta critiquing my DMing right now. It's the type of meta gaming I've never even heard of before. <laughs> I'm gonna make you make 15 characters in this fucking campaign. Don't you make me? <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a long campaign. <laughs> What's up? Welcome back to another Ad Advantage stream. We are just steamrolling through this campaign. Episode 15 coming at you right now, Monday, 7 o'clock ish. Um, had to run that intro, so. But yeah, how's everyone feeling tonight? Feeling good? Feeling great? Feeling like a double XL freshman? Another day, brother. On your yeah, behalf. Oh. Uh, you will notice that once again, there is just a very still frame of Casper Knowles. Uh, just that lifeless stare and those those shiny, shiny teeth, and it's um, it's unfortunate. But Chase uh, died. <laughs> um, he uh, he's getting called back into work tonight last minute thing uh weather weather stuff so uh gonna miss you tonight buddy but uh we'll see you next week um maybe maybe unless it snows yeah unless it snows <sighs> fucking prioritizing your career over playing pretend with your friends yeah, i don't even know arizona snow like that bro <laughs> <laughs> doxed doxed, doxed, doxed. <laughs> um but yeah shenanigans aside last session was a doozy <laughs> um i don't even really know what to say about it so i'll just give you a recap um you guys started off the session with a bit of hijinks, a little bit of a snowball fight, some invisibility at hand, uh, and some really very cute and wholesome roleplay. <laughs> uh, and went into uh, the journey again, heading through the Gold Spire Mountains, um, making your way towards the Solen Slough Bugs. Um, on the mountain, you found this creepy stone door guy. Um, who you named Stone Cold or Cold Stone? I can't remember. No, which Stone one. Stone Cold. Stone Cold. Stone Cold. And uh, he basically offered you a shortcut through the mountains as long as you solved his riddle. I don't think any of you guys would have got the riddle if Chase hadn't rolled a nat twenty. No. No, no chance. I'm not that smart. <laughs> no, no chance. No. It was uh, something I saw online, and I was like, oh, that's cool, that makes sense. And then as I was doing it, and you guys were like, yeah, I'm just going to walk away. I was like, that might have been harder than I thought it was. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, Chase got a nat 20. I gave him a hint, and he was able to piece together the, the puzzle. Uh, you guys went through the tunnel, straight line, and came out the other side overlooking the bogs, uh, where you deliberated for a second before hearing the cries of wyverns overhead. Anthony, if you could hit me with that again. Ah! That was like a baby wyvern being born, but close enough. <laughs> <laughs> I won't make you do it again. More ferocious. <laughs> yeah, just picture that, but like 20 times better. It was good. Ah! Picture it way better. <laughs> um, this, this battle was meant to be scare tactics. You guys were supposed to run away. There was supposed to be this um, chase scene and you guys took the wyverns on and somehow, based mostly off of my poor rolls, but somehow came out the other side, all of you alive. Uh, chase getting knocked, or sorry, Casper getting knocked unconscious, but uh, other than that, pretty much unscathed, so. Yeah, baby. I think we decided last time that uh, you pretty much finish up with a rest and then We'd be coming at you live from the other side of the rest. So uh, picture this scene, guys. <clears throat> You're surrounded by these these jagged, sharp rocks that are jutting out of the ground like a, a recent seismic activity had occurred, and it just set this entire landscape um, aflame with um, sharp and pointed rocks. 
uh, think like Mount Doom, like just black and dark gray everywhere. And you're still pretty high up on this mountain and you're looking across the vast uh, distance that you can see the box in the distance. Just ever so slightly, you see a flat land that is sort of dappled with these dark pools of water and light um, amounts of trees. You guys, I would imagine, have stepped away from these wyverns trying to get away from any would-be, you know, scavengers or anything that might try to pick at these overnight. Um, And camped out, and after, I'd imagine, a bit of like what the fuck moments you all got a a night's rest unimpeded so if you have spell slots or health that needs to be regained go ahead and do that and the ball is in your court and that got pretty gnarly boys i'll rise up out of my little cot yeah fuck man frost we made it yeah i thought for sure when you jumped on that wyvern's back you were a goner oriel I, uh, I was willing to die for, for you mates. I didn't, I didn't think it would work out. Those were, uh, exceptionally weak wyverns, honestly. Yeah, I didn't expect all of you to follow me. Just trying to lead them away. We couldn't leave you, Aaron. No. Of course we'd follow you. I appreciate that. You're our brother, Aaron. We need you to succeed this mission. Are we close uh, to Amberhaven? I think it's just past these bogs. Mm. I don't think that's going to be an easy journey either. Yeah, and then even once we get there, it's in the middle of a lake. We're going to have to figure that out too. Fuck. Got you doing okay? Yeah. I'm a little hurt, but I'll be all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm just glad that I fucking caught you on that fall, mate. If I would have dropped you, I don't don't know what I would have done. Yeah. That would have hurt. (laughs) We all barely escaped death on this one. (laughs) I wonder if those were the uh, same wyverns. Oh, fuck. From from earlier when we uh, when we seen them overhead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's crazy. We were just talking about dragons. We were just talking about them just they were, it was like they were gifted to us I, I don't know if it was much of a gift but, uh, but yeah. yeah you're right you're right first, yeah. first. it was a curse that was pretty scary yes nothing we couldn't handle though so what do you guys say we uh we should get get down this mountain yeah let's do it into the bogs. Yeah, before I leave, I'm gonna cut off um, a couple teeth. Um, the, the like sharpest fangs that I can find on one of these wyverns. Throw them in my pouch. <clears throat> yeah, and there's there's three wyverns and plenty of teeth to pick through, so I'm not gonna make you roll or anything. Um, you get through, you kind of chip a couple, they don't come out clean, You're, you finally manage to figure out the way to work your knife around the roots of these teeth. And, and pluck a couple of out, so you can put two wyvern teeth in your inventory. Um, to, uh, Daddy, with my limited knowledge in alchemy, would I, uh, <clears throat> would I know any magical properties that these scales or any sort of like the blood of a wyvern? Roll me a nature check, my friend. Let's see what hey, I mean. mate, you know you might know uh, something these teeth are used for as well. Yeah. Uh, 15 plus 1, 16. Yeah. Um, you would uh, you would take a look at this wyvern and kind of scanning its appearance and thoughts going back to this combat that you just uh, endured. And you would remember that looking along its body in these sort of slick type scales that it encompass its entire body and you look down its legs that are connected to these wings on the front that they use almost like like claws that bunch around and nothing comes to mind there but 
You remember seeing Casper on the ground unconscious and this wyvern trying to reach over Guts and trying to sting him with his tail. Ah. And you would remember that there was some, some kind of poison in there. And so you are more than welcome to try to harvest some of this poison. I will. In the same little vials that I harvested, those two mushroom samples, I'm going to try and, like uh, like you're harvesting venom from a rattlesnake, kind of, you know, put that tip right into the little opening of this vial and, like, press. See if any comes in. Okay. Um, yeah, go ahead and roll me... Uh, let's do a nature check again. Avoidance. Remind me, guidance? Uh, D4 on top, buddy. Oh, and I fucking need it. <laughs> <laughs> Full D4. That's 12. 12. You're, you're able to get about a half a vial's worth of this poison, and nice. you're trying to extract it, and some of it's sort of... Um, kind of spewing out the sides of this barbed tail. Uh, you're not able to get it all. It's not like a steady stream that you're able to get into the vial, but you do manage to fill it about halfway up. Um, and you can save that for a later date. Beautiful. I'll throw a cork in it and put it in my, uh, my pouch that I have all my samples in. Alrighty. And as you're looking around, um, kind of this area that you had hidden out, camped out in, kind of near these wyverns, but not too far away, you make your way back to the rest of the group, and you realize as everybody's talking in this little alcove that you actually don't see Casper. Any, anyone seen Casper lately? He was here after the fight, no? Thought he was, I... Thought he was. I haven't seen him. And we all rested. I haven't seen him. Casper! He, he's maybe probably he's, invisible. Maybe he's still meditating, or yeah, maybe he moved somewhere. Um, I see invisibility, because I just casted it, wasted another spell slot. Do I see an invisible person in my surroundings? You look around, and you let this magical energy coalesce within your eyes and for the other people watching you it's like your eyes almost are glowing like a bright bluish purple and almost like a, a flare to them and you scan the area and you don't see the invisible creatures or people maybe he's meditating somewhere he wouldn't venture off it's true. He wouldn't venture off that far. It's true. Fuck, I'm, I'm worried. At least he can go invisible. So, he's not going to be in uh, danger. It's true, Guts. Why wouldn't he even say anything? That's what I don't understand. What a dick. Yeah, what a fucking prick. No, no sign of a struggle here. We, we would have definitely heard somebody stealing our mate in the middle of the night. There's no way. He had to have left on his own accord. Yeah, are there any signs of, like, a struggle around? Like, is there some scuffle in the dirt somewhere, like, around the camp? Or footprints? Footprints coming in, leading in, like, a, a, a tear of his clothes left or some shit. There's oh my no way. We, hey, we decree would've... an investigation check. Yes. I'm gonna get on the ground and start sniffing. I'm gonna guidance myself. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Let's find him. Nice. Uh, I'm using guidance too. Oh shoot. Hell yeah. 17. So, uh, 18 plus 3, 21. Nice. Woo. Yeah, guts. You're kind of sniffing around, and and you you guys have become you know pretty close. You've spent weeks together at this point. Close pr close to a month, if not a month at this point. Um, you know the sense of those around you. You have pretty keen smelling. Um, you get the scent of Casper in your little alcove. Um, but there's none of it that leaves the door. Um, there's 
It just seems to stay in that area and it doesn't trail off anywhere. And Aaron, as you see Guts sort of sniffing around and investigating and trying to figure this out, he kind of looks a little bit confused. You're you're looking around for any signs of 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 combat, any signs of struggle. You don't see that, but you do see sort of pinned on like a really sharp pointed rock a little note that says and some things I need to take care of. That was a close call last night and she saw me. And then it's signed CK at the bottom with a little a little crow print. Hey mates, you know the um the dreams Casper's been having in the middle of the night? Yeah, he is uh he's afflicted by uh let's forget her name. He's got something going on, man. Um I he's left a note here and I kinda like show it to the boys. He's um apparently someone got close to him last night. A she. Was the night he's gonna be gone for a minute. Did he get laid? <sighs> I mean, it doesn't say that. It just says he's got some shit he needs to take care of. Oh. Should we be worried right. about him? I'm I'm worried no matter what. He didn't say anything other than leave a note, mate. Especially <sighs> with what happened to uh, Mr. Blackthorn. Yeah. I think he's just frightened. He had a, he had a close call. And, uh, who knows what that did to him. I don't think anybody should be going through this shit alone, though. It's a rather foolish thing to do, I must admit. Even if you are the king of wyverns. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck, there's not much we can do now. He, he left on his own accord, and I don't know how to track him down. Maybe he'll uh, find his way back to us. He knows where we're going. I mean, he might have just went to Amberhaven. Could be just waiting for us. I mean, if he did that, what a fucking prick, but... Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I kind of understand. Well, I guess we can uh, leave something behind so he can follow us or something. That's a good idea. Uh, Breadcrumbs. I mean, we could just sign something on the note, leave it in the same spot. He knows we where did. it is. He, he knows where we're going. It's not like we have uh, any way of giving precise directions anyway. Who, who knows what we'll run into in the bogs? True. He, knows, True. he knows our destination, so... Godspeed, Casper. What an asshole. He'll be fine. <laughs> Me wishing I took ceremony as a paladin. <laughs> well, I guess we can uh, start moving. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we'll leave without him. I have a feeling we have to be really careful in these bogs, boys. <laughs> I agree. Sounds disgusting. We're down a man right now. Yeah. Yeah. And um, as you guys roll up your bedrolls and make your way out of this sort of small alcove tucked off the side of this sort of unforgiving mountain face, you make your way the only way you really can. It's just down and towards the bogs to get to the next stage of your journey. And as you guys traverse this environment, your your footsteps are unsteady. Your boots landing atop brittle, cracked stone that crunches underneath with every step. And, and every once in a while, a foot will slip and you'll have to try to catch and your your hands there's nothing nice about this area when you slip and your hands go to catch you out of reaction 
they get poked by even more sharp rocks and um, traveling is slow, trying to make sure that you're as sure footed as possible. But by the time morning has rolled into afternoon, you make your way to the bottom of this mountain face and you're able to see the next step of the journey a little more clearly. The ground underfoot changing from these unreliable footsteps to to sure-footed earth beneath your feet with grass growing. Tall grass, grass that's been left to its own devices for far too long. And guts, it probably comes up to your, like, mid-chest. And (laughs) you guys, the taller of you, can see across a couple of miles to um, some distant mangrove trees and cypresses that have moss growing up the sides and and you make your way in that direction. Is there a road close by? Anything? What do you guys see? Uh, yeah, investigation. Roll. Yeah. Guidance. Investigation. Thank you. Guidance. Whew. This is even the D4s. This is, this is bad. Two. <laughs> Fuck. Five, dude. I don't yeah. See you- shit. You don't uh, you don't see any sort of main thoroughfare. This this grassland is overtaken whatever environment had lived here. Um, You don't see really even any animal paths. You don't see any any merchantile paths, uh, any beaten roads. You just see in the distance a bog and it's going to take a little while to get there. Well, let's trudge through this shit. Let's do it. Let's get this over with. What type of weather are we experiencing as we uh, like scramble down this fucked up rock face? Yeah, it's it's like partly cloudy, partly sunny, kind of one of those days where these these popcorn shaped clouds fill the air and they're bright white with um, there's times where the sun is blocked by them and it casts that shadow across the land and then the sun peeks through and you get those rays of sunlight that stretch all the way from the sky to the floor of the of the world and it continues like that, just kind of speckled sunlight that peeks through the clouds every once in a while and then goes shadowy again. Heard. Heard. Yeah, and the, the traversing through this grassland is it's mundane and monotonous, but it's nothing to nothing to set you on edge Um, guts the only thing you really notice as you're closer to the ground is a variety of insects you see some grasshoppers and some some ant trails that lead to like a a, a nest of ants Uh, you see the occasional rodent sprint by Um, but you guys don't run into anything that really sets the alarm bells off and as you get closer to these bogs, uh, to the point where they're within reach, um, you notice that these these animals, this plant life, um, begins to fall into a more decrepit um, state. The, the strands of grass don't stand quite as straight and quite as tall. They slouch, uh, almost sickly looking. Oh. The... The rodents and the bugs, if any, in the area, 
are not heading any closer to these bogs than than they are currently. You can see that there's almost like a like a line that they've drawn themselves, not literally, but figuratively, that there's um, there's something going on there that the, these these animals are just not moving forward anymore. Interesting. Something wicked going down. This doesn't look right. None of this is natural. I'm not a fan. I can't imagine what's thriving in this place if plant life and animal life can't sustain here. For the time being, from what we see right now, I'm going to cast uh, Detect Good and Evil. Yeah, definitely. I think the range is pretty low on that. Yeah, I want to um, say it's like 60 feet. Yeah, it's 60. Yeah. And if something's behind total cover, I won't see it. So. It's a big ass fucking place. I'm going to throw a rock as far as I can. <laughs> Trying to get a reaction there, Guts? I don't know. I'm paranoid. We just need to watch each other's back as we head through here. Do you, need, do you want me to roll for that or anything? No, this this rock just sort of casts its way through the mist that you see begin, uh, beginning to form sort of at the base of this this bog that lays in front of you. And it just disappears into the mist and you hear sort of a, a shallow splash that it lands in some kind of water. Mm. I'm going to get low, start creeping. Just get low, get low, paranoid. Get low. Uh, yeah. Um, you do not detect any kind of um, any kind of evil. Uh, you don't sense any aberrations, uh, celestial elementals or fey. Um, anything along those lines as of right now. Um, uh oh. <laughs> and it's not, it doesn't look like it's uh, concentration, though. I feel like that should be one of those spells that is concentration. Hot take. It's a good spell. Yeah, for real. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, let's just keep pressing forward, boys. I'm going to stay ahead, but just trying to be a little sneaky. And I'm going to just observe being insanely paranoid. Yeah, I'm going to start walking forward. I'll be like 15 feet ahead of these guys. I'm sticking with, with uh, Aaron and Gabriel, just, just behind them. Do I see anything like kind of iffy? Um, as you guys make your way into this uh, this new terrain, there are some things that you notice. Um, you notice that this gloomy slew of these patchy, murky wetland um, is filled with tangled mangrove trees, um, moss-draped cypresses, and this eerie, dark, stagnant water that smells rank and it's... It, compared to these creeks and streams that you guys have been traversing through, it's just... You, you can tell that these have been left with whatever kind of rot and algae and dead animals um, that, that have succumbed to this area. Um, the water is dark and it's almost reflective and it mirrors these twisting trees that surround you. Um, as you make your way throughout, you notice that there is no real path here. There are only patches of wet earth and wetter earth. 
and maneuvering through this terrain is very slow and very unpredictable. You hear the croaks of frogs, the occasional humming buzz of these swarms of flies and insects that fill the air. Um, and there's these thick patches of fog that occasionally will just obscure the visibility around you. Um, making navigating this this area difficult. As the fog sets in, um, I'd like to cast Dancing Light and create um, those four torch-sized orbs <laughs> of light um, just kind of flowing around our perimeter enough to light everything around us and our like existing space maybe not where guts is but the three of us at least we have an area where we can actually see and they're flowing through this fog trying to break it up a little bit sure. and as these these magical orbs of light start to circle around you guys you notice almost like having high beams on in the foggy weather or like a heavy snow. It just illuminates the fog even more around you, making it even harder to see where you're going. Fuck. Make me a perception check. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, any of you guys. Okay. I'll make one oh. too. Perception. Fuck, that. not one. It's all good, I got it. Uh -huh. Nine. Sixteen. Uh, twenty-one. Eighteen plus three. Nice. Guts, you notice it first. But... You're not sure if it's just your eyes playing tricks on you. And you see almost like... Human-like figures moving throughout this mist spinning in circles almost like a dance but they they appear just for a second and you see like an arm and a flourish before it disappears in the mist and you see a smiling face as it disappears into the mist and Oriel you notice it too but you're you're more certain that there's something there that that this is not your eyes playing tricks on you. I'm going to yell, Guts, look out! And I'm going to send all four of these lights into his area and maybe make their, their perimeter wider, um, trying to seek out these shapes in the, in the mist. I'm just going to yeah. have my hand on my sword, but I'm going to not move at all. Just freeze up. Everyone stay vigilant. As, as your hand stills on the hilt of your blade and the area around you illuminates in this blinding fashion, four orbs of light that now centered upon you, you, you see in this mist these dancing figures, almost part of the mist itself just swaying back and forth and encircling you in this mist. And they do not speak to you as of now, but they're looking at you as they're dancing. And one of them has a face wrought with despair. The other is smiling broadly, absolutely beaming smile. And the third looks angry. They're all dancing in these very almost choreographed like moves, almost like an interpretive dance where they're just contorting their bodies and and splaying out flanges and pieces of their body that just eerie ways. I'm going to grab some dirt or mud from underneath me and fucking throw it in the air. See what that does to them. Fog. You cast a, a little clod of dirt into the fog and 
you can see for a second the tunnel that it pierces through the fog. And then it just encloses back around once again. Is this fog so thick that we've lost our sense of direction? Uh, yeah, a while ago. You guys have been trying to navigate through these... these... uh, the driest ground you could try to find, and it doesn't lead you in any kind of a straight line. You guys are just staggering back and forth, trying to keep yourselves as dry as possible. And this mist is rolling in, and it almost seeming to not really guide you. I don't want to put that in the wrong sense, but it it seems like you're trying to navigate through. And when you do find dry land, the fog rolls in even more. Uh, It's like some Lost Woods kind of shit. Yeah. Some Lost Woods kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) Hmm. Damn. If only copyright wasn't a thing, dude. I don't think (laughs) you hear that right now. (laughs) Yeah. Listen! (laughs) Yeah, that's You remember that? (laughs) Yeah, that's that one. (laughs) Oh my god. That's probably royalty free, bro. Let's let's get on that. (laughs) I can see Bryce's wheels turning right now, dude. (laughs) Oh shit. Well, fuck, dude, honestly. Okay. I'm gonna grab the inside shoulders of both uh, Gabriel and Aaron as I'm just behind them. I'm going to whisper to them both. Let's get up there with guts. I don't think we should split up in here. I agree. Uh, Let's go. I'm going to light a torch. Yeah. Yeah, you you pull a torch from your pack and you strike at it a couple times with a tinderbox and it it comes ablaze. Um, and are you just sort of holding it to your side? What are you, what are you doing with your torch? Are you holding just trying to use it to... Me. Okay, trying to use it to I, help navigate part your way through the mist a little bit. Yeah, I'm trying to, like, keep the, keep the fog from getting thicker in front of me. That makes sense. So if I have to, like, wave it around, fucking, I don't know. Just seeing what happens. Sure. Um... I'd assume we're trying to just push forward, somewhat avoiding or just ignoring these shapes in the mist. I I did some reading on this dancing light, and I can uh, combine these four lights into one glowing, vaguely humanoid form of medium size um, that sheds a brighter light. I am going to do that and make this humanoid uh, form kind of walk in front of us. Um, maybe like 20 feet in front of us, sort of leading the way. Yeah. Maybe yeah, 15, definitely. Not too far. Let's say 15 feet. Okay. Um, just out of curiosity, do you still stock Minor Illusion? I do. You could do some cool stuff with that. Um, yeah, and you... You let it set the pace, and... Or not really set the pace. It's it's walking at whatever speed you're walking. It's keeping the whatever distance yeah. away that you're setting it. But you let it take the lead is what I should have said. Almost mimicking my movements just in a uh, like a, you know, a light spectral form in front of all of us. Like, but, you know, basically mimicking me. OK, like a projection of my uh, shapes. Yeah, cool. That's neat. <laughs> Um, you continue to walk and this mist continues to veil in and veil out um, making its way along with you and and you're not sure if it's following you because you can't see past it There's, there's mist that just encompasses this area but these dancing movements and this this twisting and these faces just keep appearing around you. Ugh. Fuck. Bad feeling about this, boys. Keep your hand on your weapons. We have to keep moving forward. We could be attacked at any moment. We need to get the fuck through here. Stay together. Yeah. Keep moving forward. I'm gonna I'm gonna up the pace on our uh, yeah on our light pace guy here walking but faster than we stay were. Stay aware, though. 
Um, as you guys are making your way, is this sort of like a, a light jog at this point? I'd say a speed walk. Yeah. Speed walk, okay. Um, just got a great visual for that. This is awesome. <laughs> Everybody's. <laughs> um, Proper navigating form. this. What's that? Proper form. Proper form, exactly. Yeah. Um, as you guys are picking up the pace, the mist picks up its pace. And before you know it, you guys are entirely surrounded by it. You can't even see one another. All that you can see are these dancing mist forms and this sort of light, playful laughter and then a grumble, an angry kind of grumble. And then uh, (laughs) this sobbing that follows everything up. I need all of you to make me constitution saving throw. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Fuck. Con plus, okay. Sick. Oh my yes, fucking 16. god. <laughs> oh my god. And that one plus three, four. Six. Oh. Okay. That is okay. Yeah, that was right. It's a constitution saving throw? Yeah. yeah. That's right. Good fucking shit, man. Fucking uh, shit. Uh. <laughs> Dude, I am 12. Better than me. Got you the only one that rolled over 14? Yeah, I got a 16. Okay. Everybody who rolled 14 or less, um, you're going to take five cold damage and 10 necrotic damage. Oh, jeez. What? So 15. All right. Um, that just fucked Oreo up bad. <laughs> I know it did. <laughs> yeah. You're muted. I'm going to scream out in pain um, as this shit hits me. Oh! Cries fucking just boom through this fog. Oriel, shh, shh, Oriel. Be quiet. You'll hear me start quietly pleading with the with the shapes. Please, please, please. We we mean to traverse these these bogs in peace. Please show yourself. We mean no harm. Roll me persuasion. I dance. Thank you, guys. Can I do something as he's doing that? Of course. I'm going to put my hand on Anthony and uh, use 10 of my Leon hands pool and give him 10 health back. Thank you. Oh, and this is a fucking banger with guidance. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you get 10 back, Anthony. That's 25. Nice. Damn. Thank you, 10 back. Awesome. Did I take damage? You did not. No. no. Okay. You should have, Mister. Have everything. <laughs> and I, uh, mm-hmm. I get up yeah. from a kneeled position as uh, as Gabriel heals me back. I'm I'm on my feet again, feeling a lot better. Twenty five persuasion as I cry out to these spectral forms. I'm going to do a quick test here because I don't want to do this cool whispery voice if you guys can't hear it. But if I whisper, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear it. Sounds great. Awesome. As you're pleading to this unseen force around you that just inflicted (laughs) this chilling magic that for a moment makes your heart go cold. And then you feel this death spreading throughout your bones and it stops. 
and you feel Gabriel's clawed, scaled hands touch your back, and you get some of that life breathed back into you, and you plead, and you say, we're trying to travel in peace. The mist begins to widen its spread around you, and it's still in this spinning kind of veil. But as it does, it spins back further and further until there's about a 10 foot circumference around you. And you see these three lithe figures that are made entirely of this dense, compact mist. There's arms and legs like a human and these different pleading faces. The one with despair sits on the ground with its hands on its head, kind of rocking back and forth. The angry one kneeled beside him. You see him touch the shoulder of the one in despair and look back at you. And standing up with the rest of them is one smiling, this beaming smile. And it looks over your group and says in a whispery voice, You guys look awfully prepared for battle. Someone who says they come in peace. We've, uh, we've been on a hard road and seen some tough times in our travels. Um, these provisions that we carry are only to save our own lives in times of need. We're willing to pay a toll to travel through unharmed. Please, we mean you no, no worry. We are merely just travelers. Silence. You see the angry looking one cast his gaze towards you. We need not your money. We need not currency of the mortal world. What is it you need? We are protectors. The sad one is just still sobbing in its hands and it looks up. (laughs) Too many people. Too many times have we trusted and been betrayed. Who did you put your trust in? Was it just random followers that you talked to in the forest? Because that would make sense. Grinning, just a shit-eating grin, looks at you. You're rather lively, aren't you? Cunning with your words. I sense trouble deep within you. Where are you headed? I'm behaving. To say no. 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 The angry one looks back and forth at you. You cannot enter the city. Great danger befalls anyone who goes between those walls. We're trying to take care of that problem. (laughs) I can't imagine your faces when you realize how very wrong you are. We took care of one. And I jingle my bracelet. It's bad. In the blink of an eye, the mist encloses and expands once again, and the smiling mist elemental that was 
standing before you is now right beside you. And he holds your wrist up. It cannot be true. This is a relic of dark intent. You say you've slain one? Where? <laughs> Rag Willow. We're gonna slay the fucking six others. I do not take pleasure in leading sheep to their slaughter. But if you do as you say, maybe life might come back to our box. Hey, Gabriel, you wanna... You wanna call Desmios or something? Get him on the stone. They probably know who this fucker is. They're not even from the mortal world. Yeah, I, I pull out the stone. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> and um, a moment goes past before in the ears of all of you you hear oh my goodness i was just having the most delightful nap how are you sweeties oh, we're, we're in a bit of a pickle here thesmios <laughs> trying to uh, get past these bogs to Ambraven, and uh we've run into an obstacle you know of the... what sort you guys have proven crafty so far <laughs> Well, uh, I was thinking maybe you could uh, show these uh, elemental type guys that we are indeed on a journey to uh, get back the uh, instruments of the seven deadly sins. This could be interesting. Tell them that lightning will strike in precisely three seconds. Do it. Got it. We'll do. Hey, uh, Lightning's going to strike in uh, three seconds. And this loud crack roars across the side <laughs> in a bright spire of lightning streaks to the ground. No less than 100 feet away from you. See, we told you it's our destiny. We're supposed to do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's our destiny. <laughs> Everyone's talking like this, meals now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tiger, what do they think? Uh, well, the one's still smiling at me. Um, the other one's still angry. Their faces haven't changed much. Uh, do you believe us yet? It was either a great coincidence. Or you have the divine on your side. Either way, I shall let you pass on the hopes that your promises go unbroken. A pinky promise. All right. It puts out his pinky. <sighs> All right, Thesmio's perfect. They believed it. Thank you for your help. Bye. Bye bye. Ta ta. Fin a little pink confetti <laughs> springs from the stone. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Oh, thank you, Spirit. What? Why? Why? Don't make a promise you can't keep. You're making him sadder. Get out of our sight. And the mist immediately <laughs> spins in one last grand motion before the three elementals before you disappear. And your vision 
through these bogs has been repaired. You can see as far as your eyes can carry. Ooh, what hey. the fuck was that, man? Let's get the fuck out of here. That was scary. Let's yeah, I'm not, I, I don't want to be in this fucking place anymore, mate. We need to get the fuck out of here. No. Onward. Let's go. I had one more question, too. Me too, but fuck them. Let's go. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Yeah, dab do. Yeah, they can yeah, move on command, yeah, bro. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. boofed. They boofed. <laughs> That's what I should have said when uh, Thesmios hung up the phone. He goes, boof. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, navigating through this terrain is not nearly as hard. Um, you guys see in the distance a wall of trees. Um, and it's just a matter of time and effort to make your way there. You are able to kind of just pluck your way along these mounds of earth that rise up further from the water level that keep you the driest. But just for shits and giggles, everybody go ahead and make me a dexterity check. These are the moments I love best because someone's bound to roll low and get a face full of mug. Seven, mug baby. Face. Oh, bro. Dirty 20. Uh, three. 18. That's you. You start to stumble. And as you're trying to get from one mound of, of more packed dirt to the next, <laughs> you start to fall forward and to catch yourself you reach out for Aaron, but Aaron is not prepared for it at all. So <laughs> so you reach and grab his arm and pull yourself up to safety. But in doing so, absolutely make Aaron face plant into just <laughs> six inch deep muck. Oh, my I, bad. I'm just like under the mud, gargling. I'm going to help him up. That's Sorry, Aaron. <laughs> Suffocation damage. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize a fucking little one like that would pull me right off, man. He's, he's what, dense. twice the fucking I'm size. Super dense, Aaron. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot more muscle to that body, man. Yeah, it's creepy. I feel weird all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's another great t-shirt. <laughs> weird all the time. <laughs> I think we're all a little weird, my friends. Yeah. Anyways, let's keep on keeping on, brother. Yes. Yeah, I'm just gonna like try and clean myself off as I'm walking. <laughs> As you do that, I'll, uh, I'll, you know, you'll see zaps of this energy as you're brushing yourself off. It's actually cleaning you because my uh, prestigitation. Nice. Fucking hey, Oriel, you, um, you gotta teach me how to do this shit, man. I mean, next time we're uh, in camp, I'll, I'll do my best. Uh, I'd, I'd like to learn uh, a little bit of sorcery traits, mate. Sure, but let's keep moving. Alright. I'm gonna walk in front of Aaron this time. I'm pretty shaken up. You guys see me sticking even closer to the big guys than usual. Yeah. Um, without a whole lot of issues, you make your way towards the tree line. And at, at this point, the, uh, uh, nighttime is beginning to become eminent. Um, you haven't seen any kind of structures or like buildings or anything that resembles really anything man made. And as you weave your way through these trees, you're surprised that it's not a long walk before you reach the lake's edge. 
And as you're all stepping forth, um, everybody go ahead and make me a perception check. Guidance. On everybody? I can only guidance one person. 19. 22. 15. 7. I'm rolling solo today. Me too. Rolling that was like the best roll for me. <laughs> How does it feel? <laughs> I <know. laughs> forgot about that. Um, everybody except for Gabriel. You get this like this feeling and this very, very hard to see, almost imperceptible um, bubble like wall stands in front of you and it's iridescent almost. And as you're walking, you're just kind of taking note of that in your head before Gabriel walks into it and it's like walking right into a brick wall. Oh, shit. Fuck was that? I start like kind of touching it. And you feel like this, this arcane energy, this some kind of magic force field in front of you. You can see through it. You can see the lake. And you can see beyond just ever so slightly a silhouette in the dark, this island in the center of the lake, atop of which rests a massive city. Hmm. Can I try and go through? Yep. Yeah. You walk into the wall. I just go through it? You walk into it and it's like walking okay. into a cement wall. Gotcha. I'm going to try and knock on it like it's a door. And you give it a little doot, 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 doot. and nobody returns the doot doot and no door opens. I'm going to headbutt it. And it's like headbutting a, a cement wall. Go ahead and mark down to bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Half. <laughs> You're not Are raging. You? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to take a, a bit of a running start. And before I get to this wall, I'm going to cast Misty Step and try and teleport like five feet past this, uh, this wall. On the inside of it? Yeah. Yeah, and you get a running start and almost eerily like the elementals that you just faced, this veil of mist from your head to your feet surrounds you and you appear on the other side of the wall. Well, am I on my own? Can you guys hear me through the wall? Can we hear him? You Wait, see... Is he on the other side or inside yeah, the wall? He made it. Kinda He's like... inside the wall. He's on the oh, opposite okay, side that you are. Yeah. And you, you see him appear in this veil of mist about five feet away on the opposite side of the wall. And he comes to the wall and sort of touches it. And he asks if you can hear him, but all you hear is like a mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's completely muffled. You can't make out the words. Boys. Mm -hmm. Boys. Uh, I'm going to divine fury it. I'm just going to stick my hands up to it. And you're just going to see this red lightning start cackling and pulsing against the invisible wall. I'm gonna try and like tell Oriel to back up. Like, back it up. He's probably not gonna hear me, but I'm just gonna gesture towards him. Yeah, I, I get your gestures and I'll, I'll step away for a little. And so you, you have this cackling red energy around your hand and you use that to push through first. Oh, yeah. And you're unsure after having just bludgeoned your face into this bubble-like wall. 
and your hand pierces the veil of the wall and almost as if you're getting pulled in by a strong force you get sucked the rest of the way through the wall with like a <laughs> that's good fuck yeah guts and I'll, I'll uh, as he's coming through I'm gonna kind of pull him in I can have my arm around him fuck how did he do that glad I'm not the only one on this side yeah I feel like um, this has to do something with magic Gabriel I'm just gonna hold my hands up and they're just gonna <laughs> fucking be cackling be like um <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put my hand on the the wall here, and I'm gonna try and cast uh, Toll the Dead on it. Just use one of my uh, necromancy spells. Like, uh, hope this fucking works. Toll the Dead. Um, let me look that up really quick. Yeah, uh, you point at one creature you see within range and the sound of a Dolores bell fills there around it for a moment. Target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw. I was, I'm just using a magic spell. You see this warped wave sort of ride across this bubble-like wall, but it doesn't pierce it and it doesn't create an opening for you. Okay. I'm going to put my palm up on the uh, up on the wall and I'm going to use sacred flame. And just like with guts, your hand illuminates in fire. And a hole just big enough to push your hand through before your entire body gets sucked through. And it's this very uncomfortable feeling and another there we go. How's it going? How's it going? Damn it. All right. I'm going to just take my sword straight up to it and try and divine smite this fucking thing. Just take my hardest hitting ability. I'm starting to get frustrated at this point. I'm watching all my boys get through. I'm like, what the hell? What the hell? I can't give her right another out. hug as he, as he comes through. <laughs> good, good to see you on this side, mate. Good to be here. 19 plus 6 to hit. You... And you're using a smite. Yeah, I'm gonna use... Oh, uh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna try this. Um, I'm gonna use... Um, as soon as I, like, hit in this, like, baseball bat motion, you there's gonna be... They probably won't hear it. It might be muffled. But outside where I'm at, it's just going to be this huge fucking thunder that just booms through it. And I'm going to cast Thunderous Smite. <clears throat> yeah. It's... And for everybody on the inside, what you're what you're seeing in this moment is you see him rear back like he's about to hit a home run. And he swings his blade the second it makes contact with this veil. You hear like this muffled, distant rumbling like like cattle being herded the field next to you. And then after just a moment, you see this wide gash get cut through the veil and that that quiet muffled rumbling immediately turns into these deafening cracks of thunder as the veil is pierced and you see him get sucked in. Ooh, yeah. What Ugh. happens to the veil? Is the veil still cut? You see the veil just slowly, the seam comes back together. Oh, interesting. Mm. Damn. Fuck. Honestly, I not still have it. no idea how the fuck I got in here. It's magic. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be magic. It's rather curious because, I mean, who are they protecting this lake and the city from if magic can get through? Kind of true. Seems like a. Is it just for show? Are those wyverns? It's possible. Maybe it's from those uh, elementals interfering. Or they're trying to keep people in. Yeah. Like civilians? 
Yeah. As Guts yeah. says elementals, I'm gonna look at this mysterious fog around us and question it. Um, can I roll to see if it's a familiar mist or a fog? Uh, the veil itself? Um, you said as we got through the veil, there was a, a mist. That was, that was just you because you casted Misty Step. Misty it was the flavor I was putting on it. Oh, that's, that's fucking hot. <laughs> it's good. That's fucking hot. What uh? What time of day is it right now? Uh, nighttime. It's like maybe an hour or so past the sunset. You think we should uh stay right here for the night? I mean, or keep on keeping on. Do have the protection of uh of the veil somewhat. Some some protection's better than none, I guess. I'm worried that it's not protection. I'd agree with you. Anyone that's gonna harm us, it's gonna probably be able to get through the veil no problem. So maybe we should just push through the night. See yeah. if we can find a way under this water. Go no undetected. With that, um, I I think I'd be better off actually if I um took off my armor. If we're trying to be stealthy through the night. Sure, you can always store it in the, uh, in my bag of holding, mate, if you need. Mm, I, I, I'm I able to just keep it in my own backpack, right? Yeah, with, with ropes and stuff, you can, you can sort of fashion your armor to be on your back if you need to. Okay. I mean, full plate armor. Yeah, and no. like legs are not gonna just fit in a travel bag. No. Like, no, I get that. But you could fashion it almost like how Trunt had stuff fashioned to his shell. You can kind of like almost like using carabiners and stuff like that. You can. Okay. Um, and that'll yeah. negate like stealth problems and shit like that. Yeah. Because I don't want to have to like, especially if Oriole's somewhere else, I don't want to have to deal with having to get my armor out of his fucking bag. I'll say that that flies with me. Um, <laughs> you're not clinging and clanging with your footsteps you're not having to be careful about how you maneuver you okay. can you can stealth just fine with it like that All right, um, cool tying that stuff tight to your bag would would really negate any kind of like movement it had to cling into one another so that's cool. my justification for it anyways nice thank you dad thanks dad that's you're a smart welcome. idea Aaron I'll do the same what naked boys, huh? Yeah, don't look. Don't look. Yeah, to be honest with you, I can um I can cast shield of faith on myself, give myself a little boost if we need it. We have to figure out how to get across this water. I I'm gonna gaze at the surroundings now that we're inside this veil, um like full three sixty. What am I what am I looking at? Yeah, uh, one thing you notice as you take in your surroundings is that the air here is completely still. There's not even a whisper of wind around. With that being said, the lake is choppy and the waters have these white caps and, and the water looks rough. Um, you see around you, the veil encompasses some area of the woods, but largely beach and this lake that's not a not a super, super large lake. Like for those of us that have been out there, think like Fish Lake in Oregon, like it's relatively small. There's this large island that takes up the majority uh, or close to the majority of the center of this lake that's um, shaped almost like a continent of its own. There's these small peninsulas and these rough edges around the sides of this, uh, this island that's almost formed into like a mountain. And from where you are, it's just a silhouette in the night. These spires of buildings and 
but you can only imagine being great walls that surround the city. Is there some light in the city? Yeah, there are. There are different Let me ask sources. This. Any, anything that resembles a harbor or any sort of activity to and from the coastline to the actual um, continent? Um, there is a dock of some kind, some kind of a small, like a small port, a large dock, somewhere in between, where you see several you know, good-sized boats, some of like platform boats or pontoons, kind of sized, um, that are docked in the city. How uh, far is the coast from this uh, port? Um, the beach, I mean. Well, let me ask you this as your character. Have you done any any amounts of swimming? Um, in uh, um, the pools, um, like I said, I didn't travel too much from the uh, like ritzy part of town, kind of staying within the keep most of my life uh but i being from a port city i feel like i would have some general knowledge of uh you know water in a way yeah how far things are um you know like let's say i'm in a a keep at the top of my town looking down into the port understanding how long it takes for boats to come in or this and that so maybe a general knowledge of that kind of thing? It'd be about a 45 minute swim. Ooh. I could do that. I'm not sure I could make I'm not sure I can make that distance. Guts. It would be hard. To find something that can float. Who knows what's in this fucking water, too? True. If it's this choppy right here on the uh, the shoreline, I'm not sure it gets any better the deeper we get. Um. Fuck, boys. Uh, I'm at a loss here. I can only think of one thing. Do you guys want to hear it? Yeah. It's on my. If Guts thinks he can make the swim, the only course of action I see is maybe he hijacks one of those boats and comes and retrieves us. How do you feel about that, Guts? I don't know if we should risk it. It's pretty dangerous. It's a high that risk. sounds pretty sketchy. Yeah. You gotta be alone, too. I, I don't... Yeah. I don't know about sending them. Team Gods. Really how far? How? What do these boats look like? Like how big are they? Like a dinghy? They're relatively large. Like, like think of like a like a pontoon boat or like those platform boats, like those party boats. Not like yacht size, but like what I'm picturing is like those things that have those big cylindrical sort of um, masts that there's basically a flat platform on top. Like, they're pretty big. It'd be hard for one person to, like, row across. Okay. Fuck. I mean, you're strong as fuck, and you could rage, but those would be some pretty hard DCs. Yeah. And that's, like, the smallest type of boat there? They're all relatively the same. Like, right. they, they, they look different. They have different appearances from what you can see. Like I said, they're far away, and they're kind of a silhouette right now, but not really a the size and shape all look similar. I'm sure a boat that size has a crew. Um, I'm not sure that's a good idea, but... It's bound to be someone watching it, mate. It's truly the only thing I can think, other, other than fucking... We could just walk along this shoreline and see if maybe there's a, a raft of some kind, or maybe a dock on this side. There's, there's gotta be... There's gotta be people on this, this shoreline. I think that should be the first option. <laughs> I think we need to look around more. See if there's anything we can use. 
It is night time. Uh. Best do we do that now. Let's do it. Let's have a stroll. All right. East or west? West. West it is. And, uh... Yeah, I'll start. I'll go left. Kind of walking along this... this shoreline. I'm gonna pull yeah. up my dancing lights, too, and... Just kind uh, of... Oh, maybe, maybe I won't. That's a good idea. I like your noise, Ben. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can still for a little bit, Mike. Apprehension is what the subtitle hey. would have said if Ben yeah. had a subtitle just then. <laughs> yeah. I look over at Ben uh, as I start to cast and I let this spell just kind of fizzle out in my hand. Uh, yeah. right, I'll pat him on the shoulder. Yeah, right. And you hear 17 wyverns. <laughs> 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 <No. laughs> Surely they can't defeat this battle. Yeah. <laughs> Into the water! <laughs> <laughs> We dive! I need a man spit. We'll get away. Just watch. Just let the dice tell the story. <laughs> I'm gonna sit back behind everybody. Okay, so you're kind watch of watching everyone. Watch our own back. Yeah. Cool. Um, as you guys are walking along, it's funny Bryce has this, like, perfectly like just like small waves lapping the shoreline because that's literally what i have written here in my dm notes for this um <laughs> as you guys are walking you hear this these small waves lapping against the smoothed pebbles along the shoreline of this lake and you make your way west around this leftern portion of the lake and you see there's some areas where the the distance between the lake and the island city in the center of the lake. There's some closer spots and some further spots, but you would gather if you had to swim it, it could be anywhere from a 30 to a 45 minute swim. Um, as you guys are sort of teasing around the edge of this lake, everybody go ahead and make me investigation. I have to say it right now, this <sighs> music right now and the, the water, I am fully immersed. I am so immersed right this now. This is great. Was that investigation? Yes. 18. 18. Okay. <laughs> One second. 15? Good shit, Bryce. Jesus. This overlapping sick, dude. Five. Who rolled over a 14? Me. Hi. Tony. Me. All three of you. Oreo. Yay. Let's go. As you guys are looking around, you see traces of like movement. You see footsteps. You see padded um, shoe steps that make their way through these pebbles. And you can see that they lead off um, into the woods a slight distance. And as you guys are um, making your way around the lake, you can hear almost like this groaning coming from the water. Like this. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Like this very eerie, like unsettling groaning that's not caused by wind because the air is still and the water is lapping. But uh, the footsteps do lead off a little ways away from the lake into some woods nearby. Within the veil. As far as you can tell. Interesting. Fuck it. This better not be another fucking yeah. <laughs> dead city, brother. Holy shit. Listen, we have no other recourse. I say we follow these footsteps and follow the noise. If every city is like this, I, I can't imagine what the fuck we're in for. We need to keep our wits about us. Mm -hmm. Everyone remain quiet. All right. I'm gonna follow this path. 
Do you go alone, or do you bring the guys with you? Oh, I'm following. I hope I'm they follow. Button. I hope they follow. <laughs> I hope they follow. I hope they don't leave me to die. Um, you guys make your way through these woods, and you see a small, soft light of a small campfire uh, as you get a few minutes into these woods. And you hear some chattering, some some voices playing back and forth. I, it's just been a hell of a week. Yeah, you're telling me. Every time we have to deal with this shit, just crawls up my skin. I'm going to quit this job. I'm going to throw myself in that lake. Oh, you're just you're just talking shit. You say that every week. And they're just kind of bickering back and forth. You don't you just see shapes around the fire at this point. How many? Just two? Just two. I'm going to get into like a stealth position. And uh, I'll get behind a tree and kind of signal to the boys like. And at, that, at that point, everybody roll me stealth. OK. Oh, please. For the love of God, let this be my one guidance. Tonight. You guys do not have disadvantage this time, finally, because yeah. you don't have armor on. Exactly. It's, I'm Gucci. 17. Yes. 14. I don't know my stealth. This dice is being really nice to me. Zero. <laughs> okay, 13. I like that head shake, though. Yeah, you guys. Oh, I think you're up. <laughs> that was too low, bro. <laughs> but the first roll. <laughs> no, the, you guys averaged out above 15, 16. I think you guys are okay with that. Um, you're able to sort of huddle around this this really meager, small campsite. Um, you do see uh, two figures sitting around the fire. Both of them look to be like human sized. Um, one of them wearing this sort of um, a tank top style garb, but it's like leather to straps across it. Um, and he sits in sort of this peculiar way on this log where his one leg is rested normally and his other is like very just his ankle sitting upon his knee not really like crossed legs but it almost looks uncomfortable <laughs> um you don't really make out any of his features because the fire in front of him is casting again a, a silhouette for your vision um you do see some weapons um the one sitting next to him is much bigger, much brawnier. Um, he's easily a foot taller and looks to just be made of muscle, um, not wearing any kind of armor, just um, just bare chested, beefy looking dude with short hair um, that's unkempt, almost like he cuts it himself with like some kind of a dagger. And just random sprouts of hair poking out here and there. And as you guys get nearer, you hear a dark, grumbling voice come from him. Uh, I reckon that lake would eat me up in seconds. Quick way to end it all. Uh, quit talking like that. You hate this job, but... Killing yourself is just going to get you sent to hell, buddy. We know you've done in your life. And as you guys are scanning this area, you do see about a 15 foot canoe sitting next to them. Cool. Did anyone roll in next to me? That's up to you guys. Behind this tree. Yeah, I'll be with them. Fuck it. Aaron. I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm just nodding at you. What do we do? Should we take these guys out? Um, 
I'm gonna look over at Guts and Gabe from where they're at and kind of like read what they're feeling. <laughs> um, so I don't know how this works, but. We'll lay it on me. We'll figure it out together, buddy. I want to quietly take the rope out of my bag and kind of put it up. And as Aaron's looking at me, I'm going to like tie a knot, like symbolism. Mm, like, let's get these motherfuckers. Yeah. Let's tie these motherfuckers up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to pull my rope out of my bag kind of silently. Aaron, I'll take the skinny guy. You and Gabriel focus on that big fuck over there. Lord As you guys are whispering, you see a head turn in your direction. I'm just gonna, like, stop on my shoulder. You hear that? Can I, um, can I... I use don't hear nothing. Prestigitation? Can I make, like, the sound of an acorn or something fall from a tree, like, on the opposite side of us? Yeah. Like, behind him, like a fucking acorn falling or a pine cone or something? Just a natural, like, woodland noise? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And, and you hear him say, yeah, you hear that? Uh, I don't hear nothing, man. You're all up in your head tonight. What's this all about? Does Chef look dump you or something? Uh, she never dumped me. I'm a gorgeous specimen of man. And that natural sort of woodland noise occurs on the opposite side. You see him avert his gaze from your direction back towards the sound that you conjured and just kind of looks for a moment. Uh, maybe I'm just hearing shit. Yeah, I'm gonna right. once again get uh, Aaron's attention. I'm gonna do like one of these. I'm gonna point at the big guy, and I'm gonna do like a uh, Oriole and guts and point at the other guy. Like we're gonna. Those are the people we're taking out. Dark Norris, thumbs up, brother. From dodgeball. Sorry. Gabriel, yeah, as you get closer to these two gentlemen. You get these whispers in your head that you've become used to, and this searing pain flows through your brain as those whispers turn to screams. These agonizing pleas. Save us! Can anyone hear me? I can't take it anymore. You hear a crunch. No. And you get these just cacophony of screams and voices in your head, and they pick up once again. Make me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, fuck, dude. Uh, this guy's traumatized. It's <laughs> <laughs> a fucking flashback right now. 14. 14. Ooh, uh, come on, come on. Um, you take nine points of psychic damage, half oh to five. Okay. <laughs> you you saved against it. And since I'm used to it, do I have to make it? I don't. I don't make a noise, right? Make me a Constitution saving throw. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> <laughs> it takes it on the chin. Starts bleeding out of his ear. Thirteen. Thirteen. You feel this happening, and at first you're focused on covering your ears. Yes, your immediate reaction to voices in your head. <laughs> and that sharp pain comes, and you realize the circumstances of the situation. And you throw your hand over your mouth. <laughs> With a, a muffled but obvious noise. And you see the big guy stand up. 
I cast another noise. I, I was gonna say, I, I, I was gonna pick up a rock and huck it. This time it's a deer running. <laughs> a deer running it, and a rock. Does he throw the rock? I don't think he threw the rock. Did you throw a rock? I threw a rock. Roll to hit. No, 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 not at them. No, no, I know. Depending on depending on how this goes, it could be good for your situation or bad for your situation. Okay. <laughs> oh, 18. God. 18. Oh, no. 18? That's, that's okay. Okay. This, this clattering of hooves runs in the distance, and right over where you hear Oreo conjuring these sounds... Um, you throw a rock just to solidify them. Oh, yeah. I swear to God, I heard someone back there. Man, you are... Well, if you're so sure about it, just go check it out. <laughs> you're just going to make me do that by myself? Look at the size of you, buddy. Look at the size of you. And yeah, whatever, and you see him turn around and you see him grab this large spiked club, probably the size of guts, and just just peer out around your area, just peering past where you stand, but you can feel your hair standing up on the back of your neck. <laughs> You guys do anything? I'm hiding. <laughs> um, so they saw uh, the yeah, deer gonna... and then looked back at us? There was Shit. no deer, it was just a woodland noise. I'm gonna see if this guy comes towards us. Because it's the big guy, right? The big guy. Okay, because uh, I, I, if that's gonna happen, I wanted to do something while that's happening. So I just, yeah. Yeah, he, he peers around and takes a couple steps in your direction. I'm going to tap Aaron on the thigh, giving him the cue. Yeah, no, if, if this guy moves in closer, I want to kind of like um, basically uh, do the same movement as he's doing. So as he's like crunching on the leaves through the forest, I want to be walking with the same pace. So he's not like hearing me or anything like that and, and staying out of sight and moving towards him. Okay, roll me. I'm cut between stealth and dexterity on this one. I think stealth. Okay. Ooh, 15 with no modifier. You managed to get a couple steps closer to him. Um, at this point, you guys are sort of huddled around these trees and he is within 10 feet of you and he's holding this large spiked club on one side of me uh, on one side of his body just holding a spiked club down and you hear him get pissed off <laughs> he smashes a tree next to you easily three or four inches in Can diameter and it blasts the tree in half fuck Oh my god. Uh, am I 10 feet away from this dude? You when are. he does this? I am gonna run full speed and tackle this motherfucker <laughs> like a linebacker, bro, as soon as he gets mad and tries to smash this tree. Yeah, as, 100%. Soon, as, I, as soon as I see Aaron going, I'm going to. Fuck that. Okay. His, his attention is completely on that. I'm fucking tackling this dude. You run forward and roll me a strength check. Or athletics. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit. Hey, baby. Oh my god. Uh, 17. Natural 20. Ah. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 no. Okay. You rush in and you put your head down to try to tackle this guy like a linebacker. And it's like running into that veil all over again. You just 
bust into a wall and you feel your shoulder crack as it makes contact with his abs. <laughs> and he goes, ah, I thought I heard you little rats scurrying around. Fuck. And he picks you up. Arkeo! And he slams you <laughs> on the ground. Oh, God. How much damage this. do it take? Fuck. It's definitely gonna hit. That's an 18 plus 4. Yeah, that hits. I'm at like <laughs> 10 AC right now. Oh fuck, <laughs> we don't have our armor on. Yep. <laughs> that is going to be... 12 damage. Um... Everybody roll me initiative. Holy oh, fuck, God. holy fuck! That, that was, I, I was hoping that was gonna fucking end it right oh, there. Oh man, this guy's strong. I, ho I was hoping we were gonna get fucked right there. Cause I, I had, I, I didn't really like think about how it would end up with me fucking up that roll, but he rolled so fucking high. There's nothing you could do. In that I, can, I couldn't do anything on that twenty. Dude. I'm nothing. just, I'm just so happy I got a good roll on a moment that mattered. <laughs> uh, yeah, Brit, this guy's a brick because I rolled out. high. <clears throat> Damn. Okay. Yeah. Uh, twelve. Yeah, same twelve. Going to roll off? Yeah. Two. Ten. Perfect. Thirteen. I got a seventeen. I've rolled a lot of 17s today. <laughs> yeah, you have. It's interesting. It was Aaron, then Oriel, right? Um, I'm, I'm last. You're last. What did you get, uh, Ben? Uh, 13. 13. Okay. The big guy's gonna go first. He's going, hey, Lenny, we've got company. And he's going to just start stomping three stomps forward, uh, trying to crush Aaron. Oof. A nine and 11 and a 20, uh, not natural. Two hit, two hit. Two hit. Uh, five damage each. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm like trying to roll away as this is happening, and he fucking hits me with like these two stomps, and you just fucking, I'm starting to like yell out in pain, just fucking screaming as I'm trying to roll away. Yeah. I'm looking really fucked up. <laughs> Oh, fuck. We need to get in there. <laughs> uh, next up is Guts. I'm gonna rage. And, uh... Ah. Uh, hmm. I'll just, uh... I'll just attack the big dude. I can get him off of Aaron. And I'll hit him with uh, some red lightning, dude. Some divine fury. Twelve to hit. That's what I'm talking about. Twelve. Twelve. Sorry, swallowing my Reese's peanut butter cup there. Um, Twelve hits. Oh, cool. <laughs> Not wearing any armor. He just says beefy, beefy beefcake, the beefcake. Twenty-two points of damage. Twenty-two. Yeah. Team. That'll be it. That'll be my turn. As these stomps are happening and he's coming down upon Aaron with these raining stomps, these tree trunk like legs, 
Guts jumps towards him to defend his friend and slashes across him. Um, deals a nice, a nice slice across his midsection. It just makes him smile. And my God, as this is happening, you see the littler guy. Uh, God damn it. And he steps his leg over the log that he's sitting on. And you see this flash of metal in his hand before a loud crack flies. And almost it's imperceptible, this metal, this metal, this tiny little cannonball that I don't think any of you have ever really seen before. A projectile flying at speeds faster than you've known. Um, he's attempting to shoot into the sky above you. You're not sure at what. Um, as he does this large rope, you notice above you. Shoots one time, it immediately frays the rope. It begins to lurch down towards you guys before you snap. And this gigantic rope net, weighted by large rocks and pieces of metal and armor, falls down upon um, Oriole, Gabriel, um, and Aaron. Guts, I'm behind, I think. I'm behind a tree. Well, it's yeah, above us. It's above you. It's hung up in the trees. Fuck, dude. Um, it's really bad. So everybody except for Guts is caught in this net right now. And he starts kind of laughing a little bit. He shoots one more time at um, Guts. Twelve. Misses. Misses. And you just see this splintering of wood that casts off from this tree next to you. You look over and a deep scar has been cut into the bark of this wood. Um, yeah. All right, wrong voice. Yeah, Dex, I'm going to need you to... Uh, I'm going to need you to tighten that net for me. Thanks, bud. And he just gets a little scowl across his face. Next up is going to be Gabriel. Hey, is there anyone in front of me? Like, uh, trying to visualize this. Yeah, so you're within a net here. I, I could probably throw something up real quick, like here, just for the end of the episode. I'm just using like, Real basic type shit. And I'm really caught, quickly too hot in the rope. Is it this is just like hemp and rope that's like aligned with shit that's jagged to stick into the ground and kind yeah, of Yeah, there's tiny. like heavy rocks and stuff, but it's it's thick rope though. Okay. Ignore the fact there's no trees, I'm just trying to do this quick for you guys so you can kind of yeah. see. Chillin'. I'll get it set up better, uh, depending on what happens for the next one. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> this is not good. No. Oh, Sap is no longer around. We don't need him. Um, gotcha. Yeah, so Aaron was up by Guts, and I imagine you guys were kind of bunched behind this tree together, so... Uh, this net caught the... Th the three of you. Okay. Um, see if I can just find it. The tokens are going to be the hard part, apparently. I don't have a gun guy right now, so we're going to use a crossbow guy. And. So this guy's got a fucking gun? Yeah, it looks, looks like it's it. Got a fucking gun. And I don't have a mace guy right away, so we're gonna use an axe guy. This guy is right up on guts. This guy is sitting back here by like a campfire. How far away is he? Mm, probably like 20, 30 feet. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna kinda grab the rope a little bit. Um, and kinda like push it out in front of my face some. 
Um, and I'm gonna, you're gonna see a ball of light uh, start to come out of my mouth, and I'm gonna use my breath weapon and try to not only burn through a section of the rope, but also hit the guy that shot the rope. Okay, uh, this is a save for me, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the uh, breath weapon is a, a dex 12 saving, yeah. Eleven plus two, thirteen. So it takes half damage or no damage? Uh, I think it's half. Uh, it takes two T6 on a failed save and half as much on yeah, half as much. And does it describe the like diameter of your breath? Yeah, so like? it's just a straight line. Um, so let's see. You can use your action. It's um. Well, I mean, like, size-wise, like, the line, yeah. how thick is it is what I'm gonna trying to that's, ask, I guess. That, that's what I'm trying to figure out, too. I imagine if it's a breath weapon coming out of your mouth, it could be probably, like, expand to the size of, like, maybe a... Yeah. A grapefruit, or maybe, like, like, a, like, a, can, like a cantaloupe or something like that. Yeah. Um... <laughs> yeah. An action rest... Uh, a... Yeah, 30-foot line. Yeah, I guess if it's coming out of my mouth, it's not going to be that huge. Call it Godzilla beam type shit. Yeah. So I guess it's going to really have to be up to you on how big of a hole it makes. Yeah, I think you splay and burn a couple of, like, connections in this rope, maybe enough to work with. Not enough for you to get out of right now. Okay. But definitely a start. Yeah, here, let me roll damage for that. I'm gonna do five, so three damage. Okay. Mm. Gotcha. Yep. Um, next up is going to be Aaron. All right. Um, am I still on the ground? I'm assuming. Yeah, you're prone with this net around you. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to stay on the ground for a second. And the first thing I'm going to do is land hands my whole 20 pool on myself. Yes. He's not. Um, yeah, I'm going to breathe a little bit of life back into myself for a second. And, um, are we doing bonus actions to be able to stand up and shit like that? Um, it's just your movement. movement? It's just half of your movement, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna stand up or try and, like, get up. Uh, I don't know where this net really is. You can kind of, um, like, get up to, like, about a knee and sort of kneel up, but okay. the weight of this net is holding you down from actually standing on your feet. All right, cool. So, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna... Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is um, Vow of Enmity on this big dude <clears throat> right here. And that's it. I'll end my turn there. Okay. What, is, what does that do? Um, so I can choose a creature within 10 feet uh, using my channel divinity and I gain an advantage on attack rolls against it for one minute or until it drops uh, to zero HP. Nice. All right. Um, as as this uh, this net is falling on me, I'm gonna use fade teleportation. Um, not casting any spell slot. I'm gonna teleport like fucking seven, fucking maybe ten feet away from um, gun homie over there. Okay. And uh, let me see. That is one bonus action. Fade teleportation. So I'm gonna cast. Um, which, which bull at the second level at, at, uh, this fucking guy. And I'm gonna risk it for the fucking biscuit. Just cut Tides of Chaos, roll again. Come on, baby. Fuck, does a 15 hit? The gun guy? Yep. Yes. 15 hits, I hit him with 11 damage. 
and I got my beam fucking on his ass. And I did use Tides of Chaos. So, uh, <laughs> you know what that means. <laughs> Indubitably. Nah, it's my turn. Um, you're going to see this big guy's um, muscles begin to bulge. His face just contort with this this rage that almost seems to give him pleasure. He's going to rage, and he is going to try to bust down a tree on top of you guys. He is going to take his spiked club and blast it into another large tree next to you, um, probably about five, six inches in diameter. <clears throat> and the tree is going to fell and it's going to fall directly onto the net and on the rope and those of you that are inside. And as you guys are sort of fighting, trying to get out of this rope, Gabriel breathes a small bit of fire through Aaron heals himself a little bit and you guys look up and you just see this veil dome above you before a tree comes crashing down in your direction and that is where we will end tonight's episode. <laughs> oh wait, 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 a veil dome above us? The veil is like a dome. Okay. Nobody ever okay. looked in the sky or asked, but yeah, it's like a dome that surrounds the entire uh, okay. lake. Yeah, this whole city is like fucking Curse of Strahd, bro. Yeah, I imagined like an Harry Potter that uh that shit they put up, you know? And protect Hogwarts at the end. That's uh, yeah, that's fuck, like dude. exactly what I'm going for. That's yeah, yeah. I wish <laughs> I'd seen Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> bro, sorry, bro. Uh that what a cliffhanger. Fuck yeah, that was good. Yeah, I'm in yeah, trouble. I like the RP in that. I'm in danger. Yeah, you guys, <laughs> you guys, you guys, <laughs> you guys, the first time are in some shit. I was at, I was at four HP, bro. I almost died. <laughs> I think right I'm about. That. I think well, I'm about to be bad. around there. Oh, dude, we're fucked. Yeah, this is bad. Yeah, this between bad. that uh, missed damage and then a couple of stomps and a slam. <laughs> yeah, I was Ooh. fucked. I was sick though. Mm. I really like the um, the entrance to the city so far. This is really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really oh, unique. God. I hate it. Uh, I, just, I hate it too, but I love it at the same time. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel the exact same way. I'm just like, God damn. <laughs> it's gonna be difficult. Yeah, well, another good one. Well, I, I had a lot of fun with it too. Uh, if there is anybody that has stuck with us uh, from the beginning of the stream or anybody that has hopped in throughout and is still watching, thank you so much for coming by and hanging out with us. Uh, we are at Advantage and we do streams like this every